Hello everyone and welcome to The Daily Show. Today, coming from Mario Sparks of Hope, it is the weekend eve eve Thursday. I hope you all are having a wonderful start, a magical start to your Thursday morning. Uh, we are going to play through the tutorial of Mario Sparks of Hope. I wanted to uh, play through this game because they have some really cool add-ons or um, expansion packs that I wanted to try, and it strongly suggests that you play through the main game first. So that's what we're going to do, and we're going to make this kind of fun. People have been asking me for my Nintendo friend code, uh, so they can add me as a friend on the Switch. And I'm going to put that in four keywords throughout this video. So you have to add them all together and make one code uh, to get my friend's code. So we're going to do that right now. Let's hit A and see what we... Yeah, there's the main game. And these are the two expansions. They've got the Tower of Doom. And we have a Spark Hunt, the last Spark Hunter. And it says, before you can play these, you should do the main game. So we're going to do the main game right now. Let us delve into this game. And see where we fear. Then we're going to do uh, the trivia for today. We're going to do the daily show from here, of course. But first, let's see this uh here we go The rabbits are especially exuberant, and we're looking for rabid Mario's overalls. His britches. We need to find his britches. <laughs> that should not be a problem to find uh, the overalls. So let's start with the first keyword. And the first keyword is going to be S W. S. W. That is the first of four. Considering you found my beloved princess, you are happy to serve me. All right. An overall nice day is the first main quest that we have. Let us go. <laughs> okay. Look around, yeah, with the R, gotcha, no problem. Ever heard of the phrase, hold X to boost? That's a phrase? Okay, sure. Here we go. Okay, we got it. Overalls are mine. <laughs> Someone's claiming the overalls. All right, let's follow to the flag up here and go get the birches. Sliding is the best. Yay. Slide on down. There we go. There's the bush we're looking for. I like to, uh, let's see. Shake, <laughs> shake the bush. Okay. Got it. All right. There's the pants. Let's grab these coins on the way up and, oh, we can shake this bush too. All right. Just shaking the bush. All right, let's head over to uh, Rabid Mario. There we go. Oh, he's awesome looking. Back in business. Yes, you are. All 
right, before we continue on, I'm going to give you the second keyword, the second part to my switch friend code. It is, I got to look at it here, it is uh, 5647 is the second part to the my uh, online friend code and the second keyword of this video, 5647. So, so far we have SW5647. Right, reach the area. Don't panic, Rabbit Peach. We'll just scroll casually along the path of this flying creature and reach your location in no time. Uh-oh. I should have casually scrolled. And don't panic. We've got a hostile bee coming. Come on. Take cover and don't get caught out in the open. Move from cover to cover and remember to attack. I mean, yeah, that'd be easy, but I want to make sure that this guy doesn't come after me, so I'm going to take care of him first. I want a clear board. <laughs> there we go. Destroy the mantis weak points. All right. We're going to do that. We got trivia coming up in a few minutes, so hang tight. We can 
All right, so we're going to dash through these, and then we'll pick them up, and we'll chuck them at you. Here's mud in your eye. <laughs> All right, now we'll switch over to Mario. Same thing. Okay, and now we're just gonna pass it. We have nothing left to do. I don't need any healing or anything. The last week we went beyond that gap. Maybe we can find a way to get over it. Time for some team jumping. Alright. Let's do the third keyword while we're here. Third keyword and the third installment of my friend code is 0986. 0986 is the third keyword code. Okay. All right. We need to jump. Friend jump. Let's get that. Let's get Rabbit Peach here. And. Uh, We got destroy the. All right, I guess we gotta pass it over until the next turn. I don't see where to. Oh, this big guy here. All right. Here we go. Now we can jump. Switch it over, Peach. Come on, here we go. Okay, down there. Now we dash. Pick it up. Shot in the dark mess. Okay. <laughs> Defeat all. That should be pretty easy. Alright, already got that. An enemy is behind partial cover. You have a 50% chance to hit them. The percentage will appear along. Your intended line of fire. Okay. Some weapons can bypass partial cover to hit an enemy when they are behind them, right? And you cannot shoot after you move. Got it. Let's do this. All right, Mario. Let's hit it. There.
Oh, we got some Goombas. Uh-oh. They're zombified, hypnotized. We can take care of those, though. Techniques at your disposal. I have a feeling you're going to need them. All right, here we go. Now that you can choose between attack, technique, and sparks, remember that each hero has two action points per turn. Yes. Don't forget about dash. These movement abilities do not consume action points, but they have their own counters. And to reach a better position, remember that you can use the keen jump. It's a it is a movement ability and does not consume action points, but they have their own yeah counters. All right, so we're up here with the Goombas. We're gonna dash for these guys. That was nice and didn't consume any action points whatsoever. We're gonna hit these guys. Mario. Actually, yeah, I guess I will use those. Okay, and then I'm gonna put on his hero hero sight, which is really an Overwatch. So if anything moves, he'll shoot it. Okay, and then we're gonna use Rapid Peach. We're gonna, first, we're gonna use her shot. Then we're gonna use her ability because she's got about. Almost down to half health, so we're going to heal for Alright, so that clears the battle. 
Now let's continue. that you are unharmed. We have placed you at critical parameters. Hey, hello. Remember me? Did you see me create with you? I know too. Also fortuitous, but with a critical success factor that is lower in comparison by 31.732-2190%. Forgive me, Mario, for adding this to everyone. As the ships still are a bit more intelligent, she just gets used up the rest. This creature is Pixel Parts Rabbit and Luma. It contains a massive amount of harnessable energy as a result. I suspect there are more of them scattered throughout the galaxy, though without more data, the exact numbers cannot be determined. is conquering the galaxy using a corrupted energy called Dark Mist. I can pinpoint the epicenter of this activity, Gersa's stronghold. It will take our ship an eternity to travel the distance between our current location and this stronghold. However, using a purified form of Dark Mist energy, we could create a series of warp tunnels that would make such travel almost instantaneous. is Beacon Beach. The dark mist has already spread there. Not enough data to define the level of danger. Please, eventually you'll be used to you, but not to us. I think it's time to think about the existence of the... I think we'll leave it on average. I don't want to be too hard and not too easy. So average is perfect. We will do average.
<laughs> bingo, bango, bongo, baby. That reminds me of a song in Fallout 3 from Danny K and the Andrew sisters called Bingo, Bongo, Bong, Bingo, Bongo, Bongo, Bingo, Bongo. Yeah, it's called Civilization. It's uh, it's like a uh, World War II era song. A very cool song if you've never heard it. Look it up. It's called Civilization by Danny K and the Andrew sisters. its darkness energy and use it to create a warp tunnel to our next destination. We must also eradicate any and all darkness tunnels. They won't really purify darkness energy, but they are still a threat. request is compatible with our mission. I have detected a spark in the village as well. We should make contact. Spark? Well, we're all here. <laughs> you two sound like a two-year job. Not as good as my son. All right, we have our new main quest. We're going to stop playing. We're not going to stop playing it, but we're going to not do anything here from here. We're going to go to the uh, the Daily Show questions, comments, and trivia. We're going to just stop right here. I'm going to give you the last keyword. So the last part of my friend code is 7480. All right, 7480. And for trivia for today, uh, let me heal. I guess I'll heal later. For trivia for today, we had the question, um, what was Pinocchio's wish? What did he want? And the question for tomorrow is, what year did Pinocchio, the original cartoon version of Pinocchio, not the current one, what year did it come out? What year was it released? The original cartoon version of Pinocchio. Let's get to the first trivia question from Brenda McBride. Brenda says, hey, Greymane. Hi, Greymane. Hello, Brenda. Pinocchio wanted to be a real boy. That is correct. Thank you so much. Correct answer. Right on. Holly Larson says, Pinocchio wanted to be a real boy. Yes. Uh, Brenda McBride says, dang, I'm already old. Well, I mean, old is a frame of mind, right? It's a frame of mind. So, <laughs> I hope everyone else makes it. <laughs> oh, I know you were talking about when we get old, we should. I got gotcha. you. Oh, uh, you know. I mean, listen, it'll still, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We won't talk about that stuff. But, you know, aging and it's just a bad subject. It's like politics and religion almost. <laughs> talking about aging. Uh, Angela Davis says, good morning for trivia. Pinocchio wish to be a real boy. That is correct. I hope you have a magical day. Thank you, Angel. You too. Christy Crow says uh, he wishes he was a real boy. Yes, that is correct. Cookie Coco OG, same thing. He wanted to be a real boy. Tony Ann Payne, 4522, says to become a real boy. Yes, indeed. Everyone's got it. You guys are just hitting it this morning. Red K5 says, I feel like this game is teasing me now. This is the second time the shelf has came without the other stuff it came with. Oh, you mean in the premium shop. Right. I was reading up about uh, the Dream Snap, and there's some task or some quest that might reward up to like 300 Moonstones each one. So we'll talk about that tomorrow on The Daily Show when we're back in Dreamlight Valley. 
I'm going to be making a lot more videos for Mario, but they won't always be on the Daily Show like this morning. This morning was just kind of special, so. Christy Crow says, I hear the wind sounds crazy. It was strong in the game, wasn't it? Christy Crow says, I just got my final pet on Dreamlight last night, the brown crow. Awesome. That's great. Good luck. Good job. I was going to say good luck, but you already have good luck because you got it. Red K says uh, Pinocchio wanted to be a real boy. Yes. Michelle, uh, let's see, Michelle Ron Ronti. Michelle Ronti says to be a real boy. That's correct. Hello, Michelle. And our final comment of the daily show for today is from Neptune Mama, who says Pinocchio's wish is to be a real boy. That is correct. Thank you for the comment. And that is going to do it for today's show. We don't have Scrooge's shop because we are not in Dreamlight Valley. I hope you all have a magical day. Take some of that magic, spread it to your friends, your family, your pets, everyone that you run into. Wish them a magical day because that, my friends, is how we change the world. What is this thing? That doesn't do anything. Uh, please like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channels, this one and uh, uh, the Lego channel that I have. Uh, it is in the comment or in the description of this video. Please go over there. And uh, if you say uh, Gray Eye is subscribed, and uh, I will give you 50 points for the current contest, the current $250 contest. Uh, please also go and like and share. Uh, a lot. Please share a lot on my Twitter and on Facebook to get the animals, the lovely, beautiful animals that find themselves in an awful predicament of being inside of a nasty, disgusting uh, high kill shelter. Uh, let's get them out of there. Share, network, anyone you know, any fosters, any adopters. So please do that so we can save lives because it's just, it's terrible to see these beautiful uh young old it doesn't matter animals uh lose their lives just because uh you know they have a little bit of bad luck and end up in a terrible family or on the street so please help them i guess i will see that will end the show i guess that's going to end the show for today we don't have anything else to read or anything else to talk about so we're going to end it with mario here on the beach and we are going to be back doing much more of this to try to get uh uh to the uh the expansion packs i'm looking forward to and they're, look at this guy this love nintendo's games uh we have this and we have pikmin 4 coming out in a few days which i will also be uh playing on the channel and of course you know lacing with keywords so please stay tuned for that and I will see you all later on today in probably another Mario video and definitely tomorrow morning on The Daily Show. Take care, every, everyone, and have a magical Thursday.